Hello guys, <laughs> how are you? Oh, why am I taking my ponytail out? All I wanted to do was take these sunglasses off me bloody head. It's me, back from the dead. <laughs> I am so gutted, I'm so sorry that I missed, like, mm, what are we now? Has it been, no it hasn't been a week. <gasps> I didn't realise a... It wasn't well for that long. There's no way. It has actually been a week that I haven't vlogged. I didn't realize I've been in bed. I've been sick. I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice or not, but it wasn't COVID, thank God. I don't know if it was like a chest infection or what, but after the night we went out, I had the sorest throat ever, but only for like one night, which was super weird. Um, but then I just had like a cough and body aches and stuff. So yeah, apologies. I literally, there was no way I could pick up a camera. I felt so rough and it's taken me this long to be able to like even put a full face of makeup on. I managed to get to the gym this morning, which I'm so like thankful for. I was so gutted that I couldn't do like my normal things and vlog everything that I've planned. Like now a week's gone by, I'm like scrambling to try and sort everything out. I just, I feel like maybe it's a sign that I just need to take it a bit easier. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, please forgive me, you guys. I'm so sorry that I missed the whole week. Yeah, that honestly knocked me, knocked me senseless. I slept for most of the day. So um, anyway, it's, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad that I'm feeling well enough to like vlog and stuff. I've just put my mum's, my mum's, I've just put on my dressing gown that my mum got me a few Christmases ago. It's so cozy because it's so cold. So I guess the last time you guys saw me, I was out with my friends. It was a good night. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's because of COVID like and lockdown and stuff that I'm just not used to like being out anymore. But like, I haven't really been out that much since <clears throat> COVID and like, you know, things have eased and stuff. But I just feel like whenever I go out, I can't, like I just don't enjoy it the same anymore. I'm just looking around like, <laughs> Obviously I had an amazing time because I was with like my best friends. Sammy was there as well. It was so lovely to see her. It was so hard for us to like find a time where we're both free to see each other. So it was really nice to like see her in that kind of setting as well. Where we can both kind of let our hair down and stuff. And then obviously you saw Hannah, her older sister, who's been my best friend for like pretty much 20 years, almost 20 years. She came and met us later on. So it ended up being a pretty late one. It was really nice to see the girls. Hannah and Emma came to stay at mine. And then we just spent the day together the next day. And I thought I was just hungover but from that day or the day after that day kaput I was out for the count so yeah not really much to update you guys on this morning I have just been shooting a job which you guys would have seen a little bit of I think I filmed some of that I hope I did and then I headed over to a shopping center in Stratford and I just picked up some hair bits so I thought I'd show you guys literally just the basic stuff I got a new edge brush because mine is just filthy and old and I just thought it would be good to have a spare one. I might actually just leave it on my boyfriend's so it's like another less thing to carry. I got some edge control. Oops. This is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil one, the extra firm hold. I really like this for when I braid my hair, which I'm going to be doing. I got the expressions. I get so many questions on what hair I use to braid my hair. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just use the Expressions pre-stretched. It's super affordable. I feel like it's maybe $3.99 a pack, maybe not even that. And I don't even use two packs, I don't think. I mean, it depends on the, you know, the chunkiness of the braid, etc., etc. The fact that it's pre-stretched just makes the whole process go so much quicker. I've got so much of this hair, by the way. <laughs> it's so bad, I've got drawers full, but I've dyed my hair black, so I got it in black. And I just, I'm loving like the all black kind of sleek look at the moment. So I just really want it to be like, <laughs> you know so got three packs of that and then i just got the color i actually used to dye my hair it's the shade black velvet so that's everything i got from there and then i popped into m&s basically i've got a couple more jobs before i take a break for christmas i've told my manager i don't want to take anything else on from like the 17th i just want to have some time off that's not to say that i won't like shoot stuff for instagram and obviously i'm going to be trying to do vlogmas as best as i can as well but in terms of like sponsored stuff so i've got one last job to shoot i'm so excited that i get to work with this brand i've wanted to work with them for so long but it's all kind of like kind of a christmasy theme so i've got a few bits and bobs to kind of shoot around that so i've got some wrapping paper it's so cute it's like constellation not constellation is it i don't know stars and stuff wrapping paper i do need to get some more stuff but by the time i'd been to the gym shot this walked around to get the hair which was like all the way down the other side and then come back to westfield i was like starving and i'm knackered and obviously i'm still i mean i'm not sick but like i'm still recovering so 
I'm very tired. <laughs> what else did I get? Oh, some cute little Christmas lights to put up. Oh, I also picked up, I saw this in M&S, plant kitchen, Greek style cubes. So I'm excited to try these. I want to make like a Greek salad. So I bought some olives and stuff for that. So I'll probably make that a little bit later. But yeah, that's just all I've been doing this morning. It's now 12.39. I'm thinking I'm going to shoot maybe just like a portrait-ish picture. I don't know. So I can post it later on tonight because I have been slacking on the posting, but I've been so sick. And I hate that because like everything I've done recently, a lot of it's been ads because that's just how it's kind of fallen unfortunately so i hate that i haven't been posting any of like my organic content and i've been so on it but then i you know, got sick so <laughs> i haven't even had time to get christmas presents and i'm going to manchester soon I I don't know. I'm stressed. I'm gonna edit the stuff that I shot this morning now. I've literally been talking for so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing December. Here's to Vlogmas from now on. <laughs> Okay, but there's stuff all over me. So I've made the potentially not so smart decision of trying to kill two birds with one stone. I have washed my hair, I'm gonna deep condition it now. And I've got my laptop, I've actually got Jordan Lipscomb on there at the moment, but I'm going to attempt to finish the edit of my last Vlogmas before this one and start editing this one whilst my hair deep conditions and whilst I chill in the bath. I'm so paranoid that you can see my boobies. Not gonna lie, the last time I was editing this, I got so bored. But no, I think it'll be fine. It's pretty much edited. I just need to add in the music and like finish it up. So yeah, wish me luck. morning guys as you guys can see my hair is pretty much almost done i started doing it last night it was too dark and i was tired i just wanted to get it done so i didn't start filming but i did leave one out so i can show you guys how i do them because i get so many questions about how i do my braids i am gutted though because i feel like i don't know if my scalp is just dry or if it's the edge control that i used but i think i got the wrong one once they were done it was kind of flaky and i was like no because i'd spent like a few hours doing it and i was like please don't tell me i'm gonna have to take this out because my scalp is free and flaky but i'm gonna try work with it it's hat season anyway there's not really much i can do if my scalp is dry so yeah anyway i'm gonna show you guys how i do it i'll do one last braid in terms of like how much hair you're gonna want to take i think that depends on like your hair texture and how thick or thin you want the braids i'm not an expert i just do like what works for me i know my my technique isn't great but it's just the way I like my hair so I'm gonna let you guys decide on that but I probably gonna take about I mean that doesn't really show you anything but that about that much my braids are a bit chunkier than usual you want to section your hair of course as you would when you're braiding I mean I, I used to not section it but I feel like that was a recipe for disaster because it would like lead to like random tangles and then my hair breaking so I'm going to take some of the edge control on my finger and whichever way you're going to do the braid I've done like more of a side part this time instead of a middle part so whichever way you're going to do the braid just start like slicking down sorry I'm doing this and trying to look in like a a small pocket mirror as well just start slicking down your roots and this really helps to just keep it a bit neater for longer take a bit more of that through my fingers and just like run it through my hair and I'm gonna keep doing that as I go down the braid because it just again helps to keep it all uniform and stop you having all those little stray bits sticking out of the braid if your hair's quite long you're gonna need quite a lot of this you guys can see it's done you want to split your hair into three as you would for a normal braid I do the feed-in method but you want one piece to be thicker and then the other two to be quite thin and the thicker one will be the one that you wrap the hair around I'm so sorry I'm really bad at explaining this hopefully this will be like a good visual for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing so I'm going to take a skinny piece, a skinny piece on the other side, and then the middle bit will be more thicker, more chunky. And then I'm going to start braiding, and I do this as tight as possible, and it's a lot more comfortable because it is the feed-in method, so you don't have to worry about it being uncomfortable to sleep in or anything like that. But once I've done like a few braids, I guess, I'm going to take my piece of hair. You want the chunky bit to be in the middle. I'm going to put it over the chunky bit and then just take one skinny side to one side of the hair and the other skinny side to the other side of the hair and then you literally just continue to braid. It's really as simple as that. Obviously you're gonna have a shorter piece in the middle. What I do is I'll take a little bit from one side and join it to the middle and then another bit from the other side and join it to the middle. Braid it a little bit 
and then just to ensure that the hair is smoothed into the braids so we haven't got any bits sticking out I'm just gonna put a little bit more product down the ends of my hair and then just carry on braiding at first I found this really difficult it took me a while to kind of get the hang of it but once you kind of find your groove and your style it becomes super easy just a little bit time-consuming but you know it's worth it it's a great protective style I really like the way it looks although I'm starting to feel like I don't know if this is like my style anymore but maybe I just need to get it done properly I really want to go to Momo's hair. I think I heard about her through Sam and I follow her on Instagram now and she just does the most amazing like Zoe Kravitz style boho braids. So I'd really like to um, have my hair done by her one time. I think I just need to have someone else do it for me. I'm kind of sick of doing it myself. But yeah, it's a really great protective style and obviously it takes a while to do but then you can wear it for a while so yeah that's literally it i do dip the ends as well i just don't know what i want to do with them i don't know if i want to leave them like fully braided or if i want to undo them a little bit and like kind of wave them but the thing is like my hair comes down to like here so i can't really do much with the ends anyway so i'm gonna i'm gonna figure that out in a minute but basically just to like set it all into place the final step is to take some mousse or styling foam setting foam i've been using the kerastase mousse curl ideal i think i was gifted it ages ago and I do really like it so I actually might end up repurchasing because it smells lovely it doesn't leave any residue on my hair or anything like that um I just really like the texture of it you're just gonna like put a load of that on your roots down the shafts of your hair as well just where your natural hair would be just to help set it all into place I'm really bad at keeping my braids neat so like every morning after like maybe a week or week and a half I'll have to like sort my edges out every morning and I don't want to have to do that so I'm really trying to like take better care of my braids but then I also just love that they are kind of like a cool messy hairstyle I don't know I'm in two minds but anyway put the mousse on and then just tie it down with a scarf for a little bit just so it can set I'm gonna also try and like start sleeping with a scarf more as well just so that I have to do less work in the morning because it stays neater for longer I do sleep with a satin pillowcase but I don't feel like it has the same effect for those of you guys that have been hospitalized that have been asking sorry how I do my braids I hope that helped let me know if you have any questions I will be replying to you guys in the comments down below I need to go to Westfield now it opens in five minutes I want to go over there grab some Christmassy stuff so I can like do like a Christmas dinner set up for something that I need to film I look like a lunatic right now I'm gonna get dressed okay ignore the mess in the background I'm ready to go Westfield <laughs> this is literally how I'm dressed I don't care it's cold thermals jacket weekday joggers are from Napa Piri I've got these oldie but goodies that I don't get enough wear out of these Nike Air Forces they're like a collab with Carhartt this tongue has Carhartt on it and this one says Nike something something I think they're so cool I just don't wear them enough and then a tote bag it's actually the Sunbeams dress one from her jewellery line I'm just gonna wear it like this I'm gonna go I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of dreading going into Westfield right now <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but there's literal fake snow behind me. <laughs> I just came out of TK Maxx and it was wild in there. The queue was like going all the way around the store, but luckily one of the members of staff told me to just go to the jewellery thing because I only have three items. But Westfield is giving me anxiety right now, like on another level. <laughs> Can't deal with this shit. I'm sweaty as shit. I did not need to wear thermals today. It's like 13 degrees and I just didn't realise. I was in the shop like paying for something. I could feel sweat dripping down my back. I was like, please, I hope nobody can see this. Thankfully, I'm in all black, so. <gasps> oh, but you know, when you take your clothes off and you're sweaty and then it's like freezing. Right. Okay, I'm freaking hungry. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to make a kind of sort of mediterranean -y Greek salad. And I thought I'd just uh, bring you guys with me. I need to get my speaker on. I don't know if you lot heard that or saw that, but I nearly just ate shit just now. The floor's so slippery. Oh, Sonos is one of those. What, what's that word where it's the same spell one way and the other? Look, Sonos. Sonos, it's like Hannah. I can't remember what that's called. And race car. Oh, it's gonna wind me up. I'll put it on the screen when I find out. Honestly, after being in Westford, I, I was so, I'm not gonna lie, like it was manic in there. I was so anxious. My brain has got, I've literally got, what's it called? Like fog brain fog now like when i get that anxious it completely wipes me out it's so annoying it's not fair like i wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy it's not fun like i laugh because it's all that i can do but it's really not funny where's the other pot i'm getting stressed oh 
don't wind me up, don't wind me up, don't wind me up, don't wind me up. Okay, so there's a pot missing apparently. Oh, it's so annoying. Why is this Oh, I get so irritated. That's another thing, I get so irritable when my anxiety is bad. Like, every tiny, like, every tiny little thing, like, I'm boiling up inside for absolutely no reason, but I'm aware of it, so then I, I get angry at myself that I'm doing it because I know that I shouldn't be, but I can't help it. And then it's like, I don't know. Anyway, I hope that makes, I don't even know if that makes sense. If you don't have that, then you'll understand. <laughs> I need a drink, not an alcoholic drink, just a normal, regular, regular fizzy drink. Do you guys remember that raspberry cordial that I was telling you guys about? This is it. It's in like the world food section. This is, I, I found this in Sainsbury's. I'm sure they'll have it in other places. I think this is from the Polish section. It's so good. I love it. I got some new glasses. I'm not going to use them though because I... Basically, <laughs> over the years, all of the nice things that I've accumulated have um, all been like completely destroyed or damaged. Like my nice like crockery kitchenware stuff all my nice mugs and glasses so i try not to buy anything until i know that i'm gonna be living alone <laughs> where no one else can break it and then if i break them then i'm the only one to blame so i don't get irritated or annoyed all i'm saying is like i've probably broken like 0.1 percent of all the stuff of mine that's been broken or damaged so i'm not gonna open those i'm gonna open those new glasses for the job and then I'm wrap them right back up until i move <laughs> which also another update i've given in my notice so I'm gonna be out of here very soon, which I'm kind of terrified about, but also like very excited. We'll talk about it more later. Let me know if you wanna know more about it, and if you do, then I'll give, I'll kind of update you guys a bit more. Even just thinking about it is stressing me out. Okay, I'm gonna make a drink. I'm thirsty as fuck, boy. Boy, I need help. <laughs> My boyfriend is the best ever. I literally love him so much. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just greasing and I'm vlogging at the same time. I'm just telling the vlog how much I love you because you're literally the fucking best person in the world. You are my twin and I just can't imagine doing or being with anyone else. Doing anyone. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I mean like doing life with anyone else or being with anyone else. I'm just obsessed with you. Mm. <laughs> you know when you've like, you just know you've actually met your soulmate? Like, do any of you believe in twin flames because... Alexa, turn on the living room lamp. I cannot cope with how delicious this is. This is everything I wanted it to be and more. And that vegan cheese is so good as well. I've been craving this so bad and it's hitting the spot in a way I never thought it could. <laughs> guys oh my god this is like the weirdest angle i look so pale makeup is off i still need to do the rest of my skincare i've just made myself loads more of that salad that i made earlier it's already 11 past 9 in the evening so i'm just gonna munch on this really quick have a quick tidy up because everything's still on my bed that's stuff that i need to like unpack and or return so and i'm gonna have a shower and then get into bed and edit probably until i fall asleep thank you guys so much for watching thank you for sticking around even though i bloody missed like a whole week of this i appreciate you i love you and i'll see you guys tomorrow